What are people going to see in Julian Fleming's game when he plays at Ohio State? I mean, hopefully a lot. You know, I just want to be successful, uh, you know, anywhere I can be on the field at this point. Who are some of the older guys who have maybe kind of taken you under their wing and shown you a rope so far? Uh, you know, CJ. CJ Sanders, uh, I've been with him. You know, we go lift every Saturday morning, you know. Uh, you know, I've been with him a lot. So he's one of the, you know, he's a fifth year se or sixth year. He's looking to come back this year, just seeing if his eligibility gets clear. But, you know, I'm really, I'm really excited. Uh, you know, he's one of the per uh, people, you know, who's really taking me under and showing me the ropes. What's his first month been like? Uh, it's been it's been challenging. It's definitely different from high school, but you know it's been good. Uh, it's very real competitive, but you know it's a great time. You, you mentioned uh, expectations, and I, I mean, you mean obviously people expect a lot. Mm -hmm. What did you all expect? You, you all knew exactly what you were doing. You got four yes, of these guys to come together, had a plan, came <clears> together. What are your expectations for yourself? Uh, I mean, obviously within myself, I have a lot of expectations. I'm sure they do as well. But you know, at this point, it's just contributing any way I can on the field. How difficult is it? To something we've asked a lot of these guys today is you come here and you want to make an enormous splash very mm -hmm. quickly. How difficult is it to fight that? You have to kind of calm yourself a little bit. If you want to make a good first impression too, how do you balance those two? I mean, for sure, it's definitely about first impressions, but at the same time, you have to be able to control your emotions and, you know, you lose all the jitters. You know, you just got to come in, you got to work your way up, and you got to earn everything. You're a guy coming from a wing T offense in high school. What has Brian Hartline taught you so far about learning how to play in this offense? I mean, a lot of it has been just being able to get, you know, in and out of the breaks faster, uh, being able to break down. And, uh, you know, those are two of the big things that I really needed to work on. So I'm going to have to get my route, my route running a lot, a lot more crisp. So that's, that's the thing that, you know, we're going to focus on at this point. How much are you looking forward to playing in a non wing T offense? Because uh, that, I'm sure there are probably times that it got frustrating yeah. for you. Uh, for sure. I mean, I guess there were a couple frustrating times, but you know I'm looking forward to get. I, I you know I love I love my high school, so I like my offense a lot. Uh, you know, help me develop uh, develop other aspects of football besides just playing receiver and catching the ball. But you know I'm excited. I'm excited for the new offense. Excited to learn it. How much, Julian, how much talent has come in here with this group? These early enrollees. Uh, how excited are you about the possibilities? I mean, there's a ton of talent. I mean, you saw what everybody could do in high school, so hopefully, uh, you know, it translates over well in the college. Uh, so, I mean, it's expectations are definitely high. How much did playing in an offense like that help you develop as a blocker? Oh, it's probably one of the main things that I did develop as, and you know, that's what a lot of a lot of coaches said that they liked about me, and uh, you know, I'm hoping it translates well into the college field, and uh, you know, hopefully, I can keep that edge with me. Yeah, I know uh, Hartline said in December that he he liked seeing your blocking highlights more than he did your big catches. Uh, that was always the first thing I was saying to him for sure. Uh, you know, there's a lot of other things that go into playing receiver than uh, you know just catching the football and being able to do things with the football. So that was one of the things I liked or enjoyed. When you see what a guy like a Terry McLaurin did here, or KJ Hill, and how complete their games were, does that kind of inspire you to hey, I don't want to just be the best you know pass catcher. I want to be the best blocker too. I mean, I mean, it's just about being the best overall player and the best version of you you can. So, uh, you know, I'm going to continue to just try to be the best uh, best version of me. Jackson what talked is, about how you, know what I mean? you guys already have the mentality that you want to be one of the best groups, maybe the, the best group to ever come to Ohio State. Could you kind of elaborate on that? Uh, what do you mean by elaborate? I mean, you, how, how, how much do you guys talk about it or at least think about it that you guys as a group want to really be the market? I mean, 100%. Uh, I th I'm sure everybody has, you know, everybody in the group has their own thoughts and own expectations that they want to live up to. But, you know, as a group, I would say, uh, you know, we do want to go out as one of the best wide receiver classes. Uh, but like I said, there's going to be a lot of work and a lot of commitment that's going to have to be put in to, you know, get to that point. Because you see, uh, Ohio State's put out a ton of good, or great wide receivers. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's zone six. So we're going to have to work our way up there. I don't know how much on field work you're able to do. Obviously, just see the team in the can you kind of see their talent already? Oh, for sure. I, you know, I've watched all their films. I've seen them all play, highlights, everything. So I, you know, I knew I knew what each of them uh, had coming in, and I'm sure I'm sure we're just going to continue to grow together. Can we give a little scouting report on those guys on the other three? You want a scouting report on them? What do you want to know? Let's go through. Let's go, Mookie. Mookie, quick twitch guy, rope. I mean, not, he's not even quick twitch, he's, he's fast. Uh, you know, once he gets moving, he gets moving, uh, can cut real quick. G, good route runner, he's big, he's physical. Cause, you know, he wins the downfield battles. Jackson's kind of the split of the both. Uh, he's a great route runner, he's real physical as well. Uh, not as big as G, but you know, great pass catcher, reliable, as all of them are reliable. So it's just, it's gonna be a great group to watch in the future. You have future analysts to say. I don't know about that, but <laughs> when you, when you talk, 
you talked about your offense <clears throat> in high school a lot. Yeah. And Coach Hartline said, when you get here, there's going to be a lot more things that you have to learn route running because they just couldn't teach you mm -hmm. that at that level. What are those conversations like with him? Like, what has he told you is going to be the challenge as you head into spring ball here? I mean, the challenge at this point is, like you said, it's, it just is route running. Uh, it's just being able to get in and out of breaks, and a lot of focuses we've had so far are just, you know, little things that could continue to improve and, uh, you know, improve me as a player. So, um, you know, they're getting, they're getting progressively better. <laughs> is, it, is it a – I know how much you push yourself, but is it daunting to think about the things – You've never heard before, like him, him and Keaton Bailey talking about every aspect of the route. That's not something you've dealt with before. Uh, no, it's not. But you know, we've been in the room. Uh, we've been in the room, and uh, you know, we've heard conversations. So I mean, we're starting to get some of the terms down. And at this point, it's just you know, it's just being able to listen and comprehend and being able to put it you know onto the field. When you compare that that workload for you the last four years in high school compared to what they're going to expect on the first day in March, how different? How different is it? I mean, I'm going to say it's not going to be too much different because what I expect for myself is always, you know, just being able to compete at the highest level. And uh, so, I mean, from that standpoint, it's not going to be different. But, you know, from a coaching standpoint, you know, it's a very different set of coaches from high school and the college. So it's 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 a different transition, but, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Which receiver position do you see yourself slotting into? Any. You can play all of them. Uh, I'm not going to say I can play all of them, but you know any position that fits or any position that you know we're lacking at at this point, I, I I'm not picky. You know whatever any way I can contribute at this point is going to be is going to be the way I go. Does Does Garrett's year give you any sort of blueprint or feel for like how it could play out for you in year one? I mean Garrett had a great year last year, and uh, you know he's going to have another great year this year. I, I'm sure of it. But uh, you know it's seeing him play and compete at such a high level definitely did. Uh, you know. Gave me a little, little boost. I know I liked it. I liked it a lot, and just seeing how quick he got in as a freshman, uh, you know, that was one. Of, that was one of the other things. You know, Ohio State plays. They plays. Got they're deep. They're deep wide receiver, and they continue to get guys in the rotation. So I like that a lot as well. Has, has he given you guys any tips on this? Is why I was able to get out there in year one, or this is what you have to do. It's all about outworking the person next to you, and uh, that's one of the things that they really focused on so far. Julian, there's there's something you have that. Even as, as talented as the entire class has, none of them were ever ranked the number Thanks, one player in America in the class. You know, and, and you, you had that distinction depending on what recruiting service you believe, whatever, all that business. You know, you know how that is. But that's an interesting thing to have on your shoulders. How have you handled that weight, and how has it? helped you and maybe in some ways beyond the hindrance. Well, in high school, you know, expectations were high. And, uh, you know, obviously my expectations for myself were higher than everybody else's. So it was just, you know, continuing to be the best version of myself, like I said earlier. And, uh, you know, coming here now, I'm not rated anything. I'm not at any stars. I'm a freshman at Ohio State looking to earn a position. So it's a completely different thing from high school because, uh, you know, those rankings go out the door very quick. It's like a big old Oh yeah, 100%. You know, you get in that weight room the first time, everybody's pushing you, they're yelling at you, and that, that's one one any other way, to be honest with you. It is kind of an issue of development, isn't it? Because when you go from legitimately the top to legitimately the bottom, mm -hmm. is there a moment that you actually enjoy that? Yeah. 100%. You, you have to earn your whole way up. Nothing's given to you. I mean, you come to college and you think, you know, you're the cream of the crop, the best one. You come to one of the top colleges in the country, you're going to get put in your place real quick. So, you know, high school, yeah, sure, I was the top. I came here, I'm at the bottom. And it's just going to be gradually improving to working my way up to hopefully get back to the top. Can you tell me about your tattoos? Which one? All of them on your arms. <laughs> what, what's, what do you, uh, what's, what's the stories? Are there stories? I like the. I just like them, but like this one is my mom and my sister's birthday, so like that's probably the most important one. That's the one that really matters. Yeah. Other ones are just kind of there, but that, that's the big one. You talked about CJ a few minutes ago. What other um, Ohio State wide receivers have kind of inspired you? Uh, like I said, Garrett, you know, just seeing his production last year, I mean, CJ's just overall, he's always a great leader, he's a great person. I definitely see him being a coach in the future if he has that option. And, uh, you know, honestly, all of them, you know, we've, we, we all, everything works out together, we work out together, so it's just constantly pushing each other to, you know, be the best that we can be. And how has last season's success kind of got you excited for next season, got you ready for the spring game? It's a big push right now from the last game. The last game is a big point of emphasis. So, uh, you know, everybody's taking things very seriously. Everybody's, you know, doing what they need to do. And, um, you know, we're, we're looking to get back to that point again and change the outcome. You guys are all your receiver 
group. So you, you know that's what I'm talking about, mm. right? There's G, who's like Mr. Stoic and, and, and serious, and the, maybe the vocal leader type. There's Jackson, who's super quiet. There's Mookie, who says he's the goofy one. Uh, Mookie's pretty goofy. Yeah. Yeah. In that group. I mean, cause I, I, they, they've all said that you're the put your head down and work guy, but I know that from talking to you, you're, you're also very confident and sure of yourself. It is. I would. I'd agree with they, what they said. How, how do you guys? You're also different receiver-wise, but you're also different personality-wise. How do you guys mesh as a group? Is that helping? I mean, you ever share the thing opposites attract? So that's kind of one of the things. So uh, you know, everybody kind of has a different personality to them and different traits, and uh, you know, kind of just all it pulled, pulled us all together because you know, where one person's lacking, one person has confidence. So uh, just being able to intertwine everything and uh, you know, boost each other up. I mean, I know you, you saw Jackson and, and G at the opening, and you've seen Mookie at camps and stuff like that in the, Ameri the All-American game. Have you been surprised by anything that you guys have been able to already show, or like, damn, I didn't know that he was this good at this? I mean, just overall, you know, watching a person's film and then watching them in person is a completely different case. And, uh, you know, watching them in person, it's just like, Wow, they, they catch a lot better than I thought. They're a lot more fluent than I thought. They get in and out of the breaks better than I thought. They run better than I thought. And that was the case with all of them, you know. They're all great receivers and all very different styles of receivers. So it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be you know, we're all a little bit different with our styles and everything like that, but I'd say it's a very, it's a good diverse group. What has it been like for you as the five star, number one receiver, all that stuff? I mean, obviously nobody here cares about that. Exactly. But when you walk into a place like this and you see Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson, are you sort of like, well, I, I have a long way to go? Uh, yes. I do have a long way to go. I was just said earlier, you know, I went from like the top of high school and then you're right back at the bottom. And, uh, you know, it's a gradual, it's a working process. And you just have to continue to compete with everybody and outwork the man next to you day in and day out to continue to work your way up those ranks and, uh, you know, hopefully earn a spot. I know the coaches likely talk to you about being your recruitment, right, before you got here, like how life was going to be different once you're here as opposed to when you were recruiting everyone was blowing smoke. Mm -hmm, out, 100%. Like, has it been what you thought? Yeah, I mean, honestly, like the coaches still act the same as recruiting in a certain standpoint, as in like the respect they have for you and how much you could get in contact with them and talk to them. But from the same thing, they expect a lot more out of you because you're not a high school student anymore. You're a college student. You're, ex you're expected to take the workload. You're expected to handle your classes, go to your tutors and everything. So I'd say, uh, you know, from high school to college, the only big difference is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm on my own. It's like me individually. She's doing well. Uh, we're trying to plan a little day where I could either come home or she can come up here so we can spend some time together. So that's looking forward to that. Your group of receivers, three of the top five ranked receivers in the country, probably would have been four of the top six or seven if we would have been able to play this year. What does it say about you guys that you chose this when you could have been, you know, the only guy in any other class in the country and yet you chose this group? What does it say about you guys as people? Is that what you want? The willingness to compete. Because, uh, you know, we're all, we were all felt like we were top guys. We all competed like we were top guys. So at this point is, she's gonna, who's going to come in and work their tail off to continue to improve and be another top guy at, a, you know, a college program and not a high school program. How has Chris and Garrett taken you guys into the What has been their biggest message for, for your group? Because, again, they, they know about these rankings. Mm -hmm. They know what you guys are expected yeah. to be and do. How have they helped you guys? I mean, really, it's all the receivers. They've helped us a lot. Uh, you know, we all kind of look out for each other. You know, we work out together. Uh, we just constantly push each other, each other to be better and uh, continue to improve. Uh, you know, picking stuff out like, hey, your start was bad. Hey, your top end was bad. Hey, your hands weren't up when they should have been up. Uh, your break was late. Anything like that. So it's just being able to, you know, continue to improve and work off each other. Are you excited for the next whiteout at Happy Valley? I'm not gonna. I mean, say, I'll, we'll, you always show up in White House, right? Like, is that gonna be different? How are you? Are you mentally ready for what that's gonna be like when you walk into the stadium? At this point, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not gonna speak on you know Penn State, but I'm prepared. As of now, I'm prepared for uh, prepared for fair was coming up, so I'm I'm. I'm confident, but you know, I'm also still at the bottom and still got to work my way up to get back there. Tell people, I was 
I wasn't just in the parking lot that day. It's gonna be di it's definitely gonna be different, you know. It's uh, you know college football is gonna be a whole different atmosphere, so it's gonna be something. <laughs> what do you think of what Garrett did? That was a great way to answer. The second one, uh, yeah, but uh, you know I think it was great. It really showed uh, how quick you get in the rotation, and uh, you know how productive you could be no matter you know regardless of uh, what year you are, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, and uh, you know he really he he made the most of every opportunity he had and continued to work his way up. He did that in the room. A bunch of better so like the opportunity to do it may not have been as wide open as it will be this year for like you, you guys. When you watch that, you see what he did. Like man, probably a minimal opportunity to do it. So do you, do you feel like you guys can kind of not gonna say the same exact stack numbers, but you guys can have the same type of impact? Uh, I mean, honestly, I'm not gonna speak for them. Because I know they're I know they're excited and are ready to compete, but you know, I feel like I can't have an impact. Uh, you know, but at this point, it's just going to be anywhere I can get on the field. So, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited to work and compete and, uh, you know, hopefully continue to work my way up the ranks and, you know, get to that point. Are you more excited to block? Uh, it depends if it's like a nice or like a relaxing low blocker. It's one that you're going up and you're really hitting up. So but the screen pass versus like the edge run. Yeah, the screen pass is the one. I like that one. But no, I mean, honestly. You know, you can't be any can't be more excited than anything, you know, for your first college touchdown if that comes around. But you know, blocking is blocking is pretty fun too. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below to get the latest videos from Letterman Row. We got Letterman Live, we've got the practice report, we got rapid reaction. Hey, and you know we got Buck IQ with Zach Bourne. For sure. We got recruiting breakdowns with Berm. We got whatever you need. Ohio State football and Ohio State Athletics, we've got you covered here at Letterman Row.